Does the HP Omen have what it takes for 4K and 6K video editing? Well, right off the bat, yes, it does. And I'm going to show you why I think so in this video. Now, first and foremost, let's talk about the playback. This gets some of the best playback results out of all of the i7, 12700H, and RTX 3060 equipped laptops that I have reviewed. Now, let's jump right in here to a 4K project and hit play on the timeline. And immediately we start playing back without any drop frames and any lagginess. As you can see right here, the drop frame indicator is showing us zero drop frames in the project. And even as we scrub through the project and hit play again, it immediately pops back up. So no problems with drop frames on 4K. Now you did see some drop frames on the drop frames benchmark results, about 456 drop frames. But as we get into a 6K B-RAW project, uh, you can see that we'll go ahead and click play on the timeline, starts right up, and again, has a couple dropped frames on a project. But it's so few that it is barely noticeable. I'll scrub forward, hit play, immediately starts playing again without any issues. Now you might see a little bit of jumpiness when you come across a certain part of your timeline that has multiple layers of 6K footage. Let's say you have a main roll shot and B roll and maybe a motion graphic. You may see a little jumpiness and some drop frames there. But overall, you're going to have a smooth experience with this laptop. So Lenovo sent over these three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros. And as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're gonna kick off a giveaway to celebrate passing the 100,000 subscribers mark. The faster we get there, the sooner the giveaway is coming your way. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this video, and drop a comment of how you would use a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Now, the one area that you might see a bit more lagginess if you're shooting 6K is if you try and edit not plugged into the charger. Now, you might see a bit of lagginess, but it's still possible. In fact, my editor uses an i7 11800H and an RTX 3060 equipped laptop. She was editing the other day with the charger unplugged, which normally decreases the power of the laptop, but she was in fact having no issues editing the 6K footage with the motion graphics and the secondary 4K camera angle that I have on my project. So note that even if you're unplugged from the charger, you can still edit 4K, 6K footage projects on your timeline. Now, keep in mind, however, the battery life is not great on this laptop while editing 4K and 6K video. Now, you can get about two hours out of this laptop, but not much more than that. So, can you edit 6K and 4K footage? Absolutely, but what about exporting? I'm gonna pull up the export times on the screen right now. I'm gonna start with the 4K export time, and as you can see, compared to the other laptops, this is one of the best 4K video editing laptops in regards to export times that your money can buy. It gets close to the best results on the chart. And even for 6K B-RAW, you can see that it is again, one of the best laptops. It's not the best, it's about the 16 minute range and one of the best is around the 15 or 13 minute range, but it hits that median on the chart and this laptop will do very well for both 4K and 6K video editing. Let me know your thoughts if you'd be considering picking up this laptop for your video editing needs. Links in the description below to check the live pricing, availability, and if you wanna make a purchase. Likes of this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't wanna miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.